from our previous heats this afternoon in the 800, your top five times. We saw Giovanni Lynch here of Core Swimming, City of Richardson, 807.35. Nicholas Caruso of Gator Swim Club in Kentucky at 806.57. Bryce Burial, Sandpipers of Nevada with an 806.25. Joey Tepper, Tennessee, 804.65. And the time to beat coming into this heat belongs to Matthew Chai, Fullerton Aquatic Sports Team. Fast swim team out of Fullerton at 803.44. First 100 goes to David Johnson of Texas, 5606. Across the pool, the future Longhorn in lane seven, Alec Enyart, 5609. Enyart, the only age grouper in this race, the 18 year old. Has been an 80082. That ranks of number 23 all time in the 1718H group. Now it's Fink moving up from lane four here at this competition. We saw Fink win the 1500 free on day one and then take third in the 400 IM. Fink gets through the 200 meter with a 154.45. With David Johnson in the second, 54.94. Third is Edyard, 55.63. Bobby Fink is the American record holder in this event with a 741.87. The U.S. Open record, 744.57, posted in 2018 by Zane Grothy with Mission Viejo. Fink at 252.9 for the 300. David Johnson in second, Alec Enyard in third. So with openings here on the World Championship squad and the 800 meter freestyle on the line, Bobby Fink, part of the team already for the 1500 meters. Same with Charlie Clark in lane six. And at the halfway point, Bobby Fink at a 351.64. Second, David Johnston, 354.3. Third, Alec Enyard, 355.8. With Charlie Clark moving into fourth at 355.87. Charlie Clark in lane six. So barring a one-two finish from Bobby Fink and Charlie Clark, we do look to add another individual to the team in this race. Getting through the 300 meter now, Bobby Fink in control at 450.24, splitting 29-3, 29-2 over that last 100. As he leads Johnston by nearly four full seconds. And at the Tokyo Games, Fink was out in a 450.63, so better than that by four tenths of a second here.
Clark at 29.2, outsplitting David Johnson, getting within a tenth of a second now of the swimmer from the University of Texas in lane two. Charlie Clark's got that momentum out of lane six. We've seen brilliant racing from Clark over the past about two seasons. 200 meters to go for Bobby Fink at 548.73. He is under American record pace and way under U.S. Open record pace. Clark has moved into second as he continues to split sub 30 seconds over the last four fifties. Charlie Clark, 29-5, 29-2, 29-1, 29-3. Basically keeping pace with Bobby Fink up there who is, continues to be on American record pace as we get into the final 100 meters. Fink turning in 6.47.03, now trailing his own American record pace by just about 14 hundredths, still on U.S. Open record pace. And we know Fink had to run down some swimmers on the final 50 in Tokyo. And we're gonna see if Fink can conjure up that kind of speed in open water here by himself with a five meter advantage over his competitors. But it looks like Fink is digging in. He's gonna sprint through this final 50 as Charlie Clark has got a stronghold now on second. That American record time, 741.87. Top time in the world, 741.43. As Bobby Fink, Turns in a 743.32, number three time in the world this year, and a new U.S. Open record. Charlie Clark, 750.07, that'll put him at number 10 in the world standings as he adds another event to his schedule for Budapest. And we'll note there that Alec Enyart with a 758.68 joined some very elite company in sub eight minutes as an 18 year old becoming the 21st fastest performer ever in that age group. Once again, world championship qualifiers, please report to the ready room during the 50s. Any world championship qualifiers, please report to the ready room during the 50s. Bobby, a U.S. Open record. I know you're waving at all your fans, but what was going through your mind over those last 100 meters? I, I was really just trying to pick it up. My strategy going into the race, I was just trying to take it easy for the first 400 and then really try and back half it. Uh, not fully sure if I did that. I felt like I did, but just got to go see my splits. How special is it for you to go to your first Worlds? I, you know, it means... Uh, it means the world going back to Budapest and get to join the guys again. You know, I love being a part of that team and I'm just honored to be a part of it. Congratulations. Thank you.